Hi guys, this is Eva from Bay Harbor Med Spa. And here is an interesting question. Uh, can you remove acne pits, acne indentation, acne scars with any treatments at home? The answer is categorically no. There is no treatment that you can use at home that you can remove acne indentation. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because when you have an indentation, what you guys uh, call pits, that's actually missing tissue, missing part of the skin, of the flesh, of the whole structure. This, the indentations are those parts where the bacteria actually destroyed part of the tissue, part of the flesh, and it looks like an indentation. So now just think logically. How can you at home uh, get rid of it? How can you get rid of it? Even if you use my, pro my product, if you use microdermabrasion, or if you use any acid, a magic acid, how can you get rid of it? The answer is categorically no. There's nothing in the world that can get rid of acne pits at home. What you can do is, when you come, for instance, if you had acne scars in the test, you would come to me, and I would do a clinical treatment. So, for instance, just so you understand, look, I'll show you. This machine, hold on. This machine that I have, this is actually a crystal microdermabrasion machine. I have, this is a very powerful machine, and I would go with this would project the crystals it's like sandblasting very powerful onto the skin it would project the crystals and it would it actually the way it would work i would stimulate and peel off the layers of the skin in the pit and around the pit and actually uh, make it bleed somewhat and at that point, or close to bleeding, and at that point would stimulate new regrowth of skin. And then combination of that and combination of some serums that we, you would use, that might give you an improvement. It will not do it perfectly, but might give you an improvement. And or you would do a phenol peel, a 15% phenol peel, uh, which has to be done under anesthesia. You would do a phenol peel, and the phenol peel uh, would uh, peel off all the layers of skin. That's the only treatment that I know of that can really improve the texture of the skin because they remove all the layers of the skin up to the flesh. So when they remove all the layers and then it's like you have to stay at home for three, four weeks, you know, and under medical care and new skin slowly, slowly will grow and grow and grow and it will grow smooth. And that will give you at least a 60 to 70 percent improvement because there still is going to be missing part in the in the flesh. Because that, that pit is deep. However, the new layers, about seven layers of skin that will come to the surface, they will fill in, they are smooth, and that will give you visually a very uh, satisfactory result of the, of the pits. Um, there is one more treatment that you could do. Uh, you have to have a very skilled uh, plastic surgeon or dermatologist, and you would have to inquire, and they could fill them uh, with uh, some skin fillers. Uh, I, I personally would suggest that they fill it the first time with hyaluronic acid. Why? Because hyaluronic acid is a gel. It's something that occurs naturally in our body. This, of course, would be synthetic, but it only lasts less than a year. So if they put it in there, that would absorb into the skin and you would see how it comes out. And if you like it, great. And if you don't like it, well, voila, in a year it will dissipate, it will go away. So nothing happened. Uh, and then you can take it from there. So hyaluronic acid is what I would, um, which is in a, a, a professional language called Restylane. That's what I would inject first to see how it looks, how it comes out. And if you like it, then I will go and look for somebody uh, that would do this uh, with another permanent filler. But guys, you absolutely, to do this, you must have somebody who has a super, super, super good hand.
okay? So uh, that's my answer. So at home, nothing. But what I gave you here, these are the solutions that you have. Until next time, thank you. Bye, guys.